it is Monday yeah Monday 6th of June I I'm on my way to Albertsons <laughs> because I got a $29 order for 21 items going to an apartment. What's wrong with this today? So weird. Um, I was still at home editing tomorrow's video. It's eight miles, but because the store is literally five miles away from my house. So I don't know that store at all. But for $29, we're gonna learn today. Beats. Ham, ground beef, Mexican rice, bell pepper, cilantro, another bell pepper, avocados, white rice. So those are the items. And he has a lot of like twice the same item, three times the same item. So.
it was easier than I what I would have thought. Um, so all of the produce was literally next to each other, so could not have asked for better. The only thing that I had a little bit of trouble were like the, the pre-made meals. Why? Because the app, it said like a front of store fresh food and it was not at the front of the store at all it was next to the meat at the back of the store it took me maybe like five minutes but that's good and then it's like a it's a much smaller um, store than pavilions but basically the layout is it's not the same but the layout reminds me of pavilions uh, a lady opened her checkout lane just for me I mean and somebody else behind me but basically she she told me I can help you on the other line so that was cool I told her it's DoorDash and so she told the, the person who puts in the bag to to put everything in the bag she was like oh it's DoorDash to so put everything in the bag and they did bag pretty well she did a pretty good job, so I'm kind of happy. My only problem is that this store is, is really not next to my house. So if it's like in the middle of traffic, like right now, it's gonna take me a good, a good 15 to 20 minutes to just even arrive at the store. All right, that's done. I think it took me an hour from start to finish because of traffic and also because he lives on a very busy street and I couldn't park Ooh. I couldn't park in front of his building and he didn't give, give me a, a gate code for the simple reason I think his call box is not working. <laughs> so yeah. I am at the exact opposite of where I want to go. He tipped $6 and base pay was $23. 19 minutes to go to the hotspot. Let's go. All right, just arrived at Pavilions and I just got an order. $19 for 3.5 miles. It's going up north. I'm just gonna bring the car closer to the entrance it's like eight items garden salad red wine vinegar dressing italian dressing croutons basil red velvet cake and tomatoes
Okay, shopping's done. Took me like, I don't know, 10 minutes. No, I lost it. I'm so mad at myself right now. So he gave me the code for the restroom on the paper and I put it in my pocket. It's not in my pocket anymore. Ugh. I'm so mad at myself. It's like there is like God that said, no, Lisa, from now on, your life is gonna be f shit. Directions. Okay, that was delivered. Um, so I have delivered at this place before a very long time ago. So it's supposed to be on the boulevard, but it's not. So basically you have to turn right and then the building will be like uh, at the end of an alleyway. And I was aware because last time I literally couldn't find it. And then I was like, oh, it's there. So yeah. Um, and when I arrived, there was a lady that entered the building. So I was able to enter. I didn't, I didn't have to call her on the call box. So that's good. Elevator was quick and everybody was super nice in there. Uh, it's a pretty nice building. I don't know what the apartments look like in there. But it's it looks like a pretty nice building, honestly. Um, so now, let's go back to the hotspot. Basically, Uber has an issue on the app about the shop and deliver orders. And it's been going on for a few days, apparently. And I was not... Um, I didn't know. So basically, he had three items. And when I arrived, when I hit start shopping, the button, it literally said completed. Like, the order was already shopped for, which it wasn't because I, I was just there, you know? And I was like, what? So I went to... It was three drinks. It was three packs, like two packs of water and one pack of a pineapple soda whatever and basically so the pineapple soda was in stock but the water was not and one of the water was showing as zero dollars which is so weird i was like how the hell it was two of the same pack of water and it was showing two different items and one was 549 shop and deliver i don't think so and one was I declined DoorDash orders for this and I'm kind of mad because yeah whatever it's gone and one of the other one was showing zero dollars and I was like what the hell so I texted the customer and I was like well they don't have this in stock but they he wanted like 24 bottles but they have the six bottles and he was like yeah that works and then when I wanted to substitute it was asking me the quantity and the price and when I was entering it, I took a screenshot. It said choose another quantity or a less expensive item. Even though the item that was I was substituting for is less was less expensive than the original one. And honestly it's on me. I should have called support right away to cancel because it was weird. But I was trying to see if I could refund the waters. I was like, well do you want the, the pineapple stuff and I can refund the water? And he was like, well, yeah, okay. And then when I tried to refund, so I was able to refund the water that was showing as zero dollars. And the second one, it would not let me refund. So basically you have a button that says remove from, from order. It would not show. It would say item available or item found. And I was like, what the hell? And when you hit item unavailable, it asks you to take a picture and then it sends a, a message to the customer. And it would not let me just refund anything. 
and I asked him like are you able to change it on your end and he was like it says order in process and I was like but I haven't even chosen checkout yet I I didn't hit checkout by mistake like that's I know for sure because you have to check for every item item found for it to go into completed so you have two button what said one says pending and one says completed and when I hit the button start shopping they were all the three were in completed even though I didn't even go into the store yet so I was like it looks like somebody already shopped for the order and then process the order and like go to checkout and then left like never delivered the order so I called support and they were like oh she was like oh I'm so sorry what's happening so I told her exactly what I just told you guys and she was like oh we've been having a glitch on the app she was like yesterday I had the same problem for a dude that was at Walmart he had 10 deliveries and he would not process the order he would it it could not just go through and I told her I think it's better to cancel because I feel like it's not even even if I go to check out with just a pineapple soda it's not gonna go through the the card is not gonna go through and she was like yeah it's better if we cancel the entire order because I can already tell that the black card is not gonna go through. I wasted my time but at least I didn't get stuck at the at checkout whatever so she ended up canceling and they awarded me two dollars so yay and, uh, apparently she sent an email to the customer I don't know so now it's 7 30 I was such on a good um flow of orders and I did miss like two or three orders on DoorDash in the meantime that I was on the phone with her now I'm not receiving anything at all I p apparently I received the smart and final order I don't know I I'm kind of mad because those smart and final order are usually pretty good and I wasn't able to see it because I was on the phone okay just got a $13.75 order for pavilions um it's an apartment but she gave me she told me to buzz when I get there it's six items um, I need to go to the bathroom cookies Bread loaf, spring water, seltzer water, and raspberries.
shopping is done. Six items. Harder than expected because literally like half of what she ordered was out of stock. And thankfully she was answering pretty uh, fast so that made it nice. He didn't give me any bags for the two uh, packs of cans. So it's kind of like dangling in the, in the DoorDash bag. I guess that's what it is now. You gotta make the most out of a situation. But she's very close. She's three minutes away. All right, delivered. Uh, it was not a complicated delivery. It's just that um, it was super heavy and she was on the second floor and there was no, I mean, it was just one slight, one um, flight of stairs, but still like I still had to carry the entire order. And I was literally about to go to Target because I need to, I know that there are public, I mean, there should be public restrooms in the Target. Every Target that I went to do have one. And I was about to put my GPS on and guess what? I got a Target order. <laughs> that happens so, uh, that, that never happens. I, I don't get Target orders a lot on DoorDash. But I got one. It's going pretty far into the hills. I don't care. It's $19 for eight items uh cheez it cheerios sparkling water cheddar cheese mayonnaise cream pie oatmeal oats and breakfast bars
Okay, shopping's done. I have found the bathroom code from Pavilions in my pocket. So, yeah. <laughs> it was in my pocket the whole time. Anyway, it took a little bit longer because a lot of what he wanted was not in stock. That's been delivered. You know what's funny? I actually delivered to him <laughs> uh, maybe like uh, last week or two weeks ago um, I delivered pizza to him on uber eats um, you remember that when I had to scan the QR code and it didn't work and it would just not get in the bag and all of that it was him so it's so funny because this time it's on DoorDash so I, when I saw the, the, the way it was making me go, so basically it's like this, this horrible street that is like zigzagging in between the hills and, and literally if you're not careful, it's like the freaking canyon. Um, and I was like, oh, like I hate taking this road. It's, it's dangerous and you know, you can't, you can't speed. So yeah, it's, it's like two miles, but it takes you 10 minutes because you have to drive like 15 miles per hour and and then it was like turn left turn right and I was like I wonder if it's the same person because I don't remember if it was I don't remember if it was that name Mac, it was Maximilian his name but I don't remember if okay I can't see anything I don't remember if the pizza guy name was Maximilian I don't remember but when I arrived in front of the house, I was like, yep, I know this, I know this, uh, I know this house. So, pretty easy and uh, he left the front porch light on, so that's always nice. Oh, I'm getting a pavilion order. I'm in the middle of the hills. Magnolia, okay, it's an apartment. Tuna, it's $14. Sauce whipped cream suja dozen what the hell i'm gonna take it because i'm like 20 dollars shy from 100 bucks and it's 9 30 so i'm pretty sure i mean the, the orders are not gonna be plentiful
Okay, the shopping's done. Um, easy, except the juice. The damn juice that was not anywhere I thought it would be. Okay, let me check. And he was not answering, so thank God he chose replacement for everything. I was looking at my phone, like the, the honestly, the two guys in front of me had, I don't know, three billion items. <laughs> They have like packs of water, they had a watermelon, they had a billion cans of uh, energy drinks and I was like, oh my god, and I had to wait after them. And then I hear, excuse me miss, and I I, I look and uh, there was this guy, he was like, oh, uh, don't, are you, aren't you going to this one? The one that was closed. And I was like, isn't she closed? And he was like, oh, well, she waved to me, but I mean, you're Continue in front of me. me. And turns out it was another dasher, uh, but he was doing an alcohol order. He had like two wines, two bottle of rosé. Um, so he was super nice. And I was like, ah, they don't tip me enough to do uh, alcohol orders. I mean, I haven't seen good alcohol orders at Pavilion since the one that I did that was like $20 or something. That's been delivered, a uh, super easy delivery. So he or she gave me the door code and basically, um, it was like the nicest building I've ever been to in a long time. And it was handed to me and she did open the door. So honestly, and there was parking literally in front of the building. Oh, so nice. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna go home. It's 10, 12 p.m. right now. And I did receive uh, an order for $4. Woohoo! So no, we're not doing this. <laughs> um, I, it did take me on the way to home. I'm like maybe 10 minutes away from home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments whatever you think. Say hi, say bye. Please like and subscribe or not. I don't care, I'm not your mother. And uh, I will see you in the next video.